uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to plan an exam essay for IGCSE Literature. Again, hopefully in a shorter amount of time for A View from the Bridge um, by Arthur Miller. Now this is specifically about the extract question. Uh, I think you can do this a lot quicker and obviously you have quotations there readily available. Uh, but it also does mean you taking some extra time reading the extract. So whether you feel more comfortable uh, doing the essay question or the extract question is entirely up to you. Um, anyway, first thing uh, that we're going to do is instantly go straight to the question. And there is no point reading the extract um, and then the question because you'll simply have to go through and highlight it again afterwards. Uh, so I'll read the question, I will time this. Uh, I obviously won't take that much time but I'm going to highlight the key features of the question. Five and a half seconds. Okay, so we know that we need to focus on Eddie in this extract. There's no point talking about Rodolfo and Marco. Um, and we also know that it's specific about this moment in the play. Now you can make links to other parts of the play, uh, but you must focus on why this part of the play is so significant. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go through it and just highlight anything. I don't have to use all this. Uh, I'm just going to highlight. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now that took all of two minutes, 45 seconds uh, to highlight that. So what we need to do now is think of a vague plan. Uh, I'll look at everything that I've highlighted here and think about how um, I can fit it into three paragraphs we're aim for. Now, I've seen a lot of you in your mocks doing this on the um, answer booklet, and that's fine. But then you start writing the quotes out again. 
that's a waste of time um, when you've got all the quotes here at your disposal. So the most obvious one that I'm noticing um, is masculinity. And we can see that that directly links to Eddie um, and how we feel about him, how he is portraying himself as a masculine, dominant member of the family. Um, number two, uh, we might even say overprotective in terms of the way that he uh, treats Catherine and talks to Catherine. And number three, we might even say um, his loss of control. Um, and essentially how this is the turning point for his downfall. Now, now we've got our three, I'm going to get three highlighters of different colours and go back through and decide which of the quotes match with which paragraph. Okay, <clears throat> that's taken us to five minutes eight. And without writing any quotes, I've now selected exactly what pieces of evidence I want to use for my three paragraphs. I'll just briefly explain them uh, so that you can use this as a kind of revision tool as well. So here, <coughs> you'll notice when I was highlighting uh, that I went back and highlighted Waterfront because obviously it was only when I reached here that that was repeated. Um, now, him, Eddie, emphasising Waterfront three times uh, juxtaposes with him listing all the things that Marco does, cook, sing, make dresses. And that juxtaposition is used to highlight his dominant role in the family over the perhaps more feminine uh, things that Rodolfo is doing. We've also got the use of um, kind of insulting names here aimed at Rodolfo. Um, and we know that earlier in the book he was calling Catherine uh, insulting names. 
um, like Garbo, so we could link that to other parts of the novel, uh, other parts of the play, sorry, where he clearly um, wants to show his dominance by calling people names. We've got the use of imperatives here, uh, make and make. Now you see that I, as I went through and talked about and was highlighting for overprotective, I um, then changed my mind and thought that I could use that for that paragraph as there's lots in here to do with masculinity and I might struggle more with this paragraph. Um, the use of the word strong, uh, again, we might change that to overprotective later depending on how much we have to say in paragraph one. Strides, um, I forgot to highlight that in blue, but that's definitely um, the use of stage directions to show his masculinity to the rest of the group. I'll teach you. Um, and the verb to teach um, is very much showing that he knows better. Uh, we've also got come on. Uh, again, a kind of demand there. You can't hurt me. Um, and again, this is almost foreshadowing and we might even use it uh, for his loss of control later on. Um, and then obviously the final hit we can use. For overprotective, we've got when he's talking to Catherine, uh, we might even change overprotective um, to his dominating character over Catherine. Um, and it's almost like conflict between whether he's a father figure or whether he has a different kind of love for Catherine because he's ordering her there. Um, and we know previously in the play at the start, um, he uses his kind of power over Catherine to show his, almost his uh, role in the family as the alpha male. And again, strong. Um, and the fact that he's directing that at her is almost to show that he is the strong one and he wants her to know that. Here, um, Catherine with beginning alarm uh, highlights the fact that she's quite naive um, and innocent and therefore we can see that Eddie is overprotective of her and has been potentially for his whole life. Um, then we go on to loss of control and his downfall. Um, unconsciously twisting the newspaper, the fact that it's unconsciously shows that he is losing control over himself. Uh, suddenly tears in two, and we've got the repetition of suddenly here, um, which again shows that he has no control over it and is doing things on impulse. I don't want to hit you, Eddie. We can juxtapose what Rodolfo is um, saying in the innocence to uh, Eddie's aggressive nature in this scene. And um, again, showing his loss of control um, and his impulsive nature. You can't hurt me. Um, it's quite a sad line, really, because it not only foreshadows what is to come, but it shows that there's something deeper here than just the fight that he's having with Rodolfo. Um, he's almost saying, you can't hurt me by taking Catherine. And <clears throat> Marco rises to protect Rodolfo. And again, foreshadows the downfall that Eddie suffers at the end. Now what I want to do, <clears throat> which you don't have to, but I think is really helpful, is um, take another pen and just think of themes that I can link to here or other parts of the play. Uh, now we've all already talked about a few, but I'm going to time doing this because, just to show that, again, if you want to do this in your planning, uh, you do have the time to do it.
Okay, so now we're on um, 6 minutes 15 seconds and you will therefore have about 39 minutes left to actually write the essay in the exam, which should be enough to write three really juicy uh, PEA paragraphs um, in your GCSE exam. So I hope that has helped. Thank you.